I have hairy armpits. <laughs> <laughs> today about our VegFest experience, 2019 yeah. National VegFest. Cool. Thank you. She's just making sure my makeup is good. Oh my gosh. It's a strange way of checking my makeup. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna start by just going through, um, and I'm gonna pop it up on the screen, my highlight story of the day, and kind of go through that, and who we met. I think this year, at least my focus, and I think it was Adam's focus too, was basically to meet the vendors and the companies and the businesses that we had not previously met, at least in person yet. Yeah, people um, that we followed all over Instagram for ever. For a while, and just hadn't like gotten yeah. to know them. Uh, because of course there are others that uh, I'll mention at the end that were like our go-tos and friends of ours that have businesses. We want to give them a special shout out at the end, but we didn't specifically visit them necessarily at the Bench Fest because we we have things to do. Yeah, we had to meet new people, and uh, but anyway. <laughs> but we still love all of you. Yeah, we still love all of you. Thank you. First of all, that line was massive. I was shocked. It was ridiculous. I was. We literally like this can't be for an event. Yet. Like, okay, this so can't like, be for a vegan event. We rolled up, not knowing. So there's two events going on that day. We didn't realize that when we pulled up. So there was the veg fest, and then there was a plant. I don't, I don't even know. There's a place where you can buy so plants. So many plant things. And we pulled up, and we're like, there's no way this is for veg fest. And then we're like, oh, okay, cool. There's a plant thing going on. The, the line must be for that because it was in front of that building. But no, it was the line that was going around in the parking lot. It literally wrapped around three parking lots. It was massive. So we go in, and the first people I see and meet in person was the owner of the Kind Poppy. And I'll put all the links, you know, her Instagram right here. And she was so, so nice, honestly. Her little setup was so cute, as you can see right here. Um, her setup was so cute. I love her clothes. And so I actually, I walked away with a legging set, which is like so in right now. A legging set with a bra, like a like, sports bra kind of thing. And you don't even have one of those. I know. It's my first one. Yeah. She says, the kind poppy where fashion and compassion meet. So yeah, it's an all, obviously all vegan. Um, and then literally company. the whole setup was so cute. You walk right in and it was like the first one right there and it was adorable. It had like, adorable. they have like bath salts and all that kind of stuff, yeah? Yeah, I will be making a separate video reviewing specifically all the products that I kind of walked away with. Today we're just kind of talking through who we met and our overall experience. So stay tuned for like reviews and things. Um, but yeah, I got like a rose bath salt. It smells divine. Here's my set. So you want to hold up? Oh, here. There's the bra. <laughs> it doesn't fit me as well as it fits her. But, um, but as you can see here, it's like it fits me so well. Here's the bottoms. I love it. So it's got like this detail at the end. It's like the black and white stripes. So I'm obsessed. I'll give it a good run, like working out in it too. And that, again, stay tuned for that video. <laughs> um, but I tried it on and I love the way it fits. It is so so cute. So make sure to check out the Kind Poppy. True. And for somebody that's like, you are a petite person. Yeah, so I'm very for you small. to like find something that actually fits you well. It's it, very rare. Right. And it was like a normal size. It was just small and it fit amazing. Yeah, absolutely love it. They also have a, an online coupon, VegFest19. You get 15% off your order. I'll make sure I'll link that down below. But check it out. Oh, then we went on over to, what did I say that? I, I would say there. Arabas. Arabas? It's, it's an apostrophe, yes. Arabas Sweet Spot. We didn't get a chance to ask because they were just swarmed with people. Like, they had so many people checking out their the cookies. cookies. Yeah. It was so, so cute. So it's vegan sweets and eats. And unfortunately, they're in Memphis, but they do deliver, they said. But we tried it out and they were so, so, so good. So it says their ingredients are whole wheat and spelt flour, coconut, brown sugar, coconut oil, almond milk, vegan chocolate chips, baking powder, blah, blah. I'm not going to give you everything. <laughs> that we went and we looked at was the Way Cafe. Oh yeah, that was really cute. Okay, again, this was a Nashville native, but they're in Hendersonville, which isn't that far. It's a, like a tea shop, but they yeah. do vegan food. I don't know if you tea. noticed, but it was their grand opening, like literal first time ever doing anything. Their little slogan says, judgment free, cozy heater for the soul, where one love, one body, one mind is the goal for all mankind. And then it says aliens welcome. So I was like, well, that's my place. So yeah, I love that. I love how it's all inclusive and they gave us a little cookbook, so we're definitely talk to is actually the family. It's a family owned business. They uh, are such a sweet at Apothecary. They're so cute. So it was a married couple and their kids and I've been following them on Instagram for a while. I've been meaning to try their products and I finally got my hands on something. It was the Keep Me Fresh Natural Deodorant. I'm really pumped about uh, again 
I'll do a review on this specifically. But yeah, normally, as you guys probably know, I just use an essential oil and baking soda for deodorant. But I've been wanting to try something that wasn't so like abrasive and just baking soda. <laughs> so yeah, I love it. It smells like lavender and he's gonna use it too, so he's gonna try it out. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say I'm Harry Octans, but I am Harry Octans. <laughs> Instagram, um, but 
I wanted to make sure that I shared with you all. So Nam Nam's dog treats, or she's a all vegan dog treat person, <laughs> company. She is a person made out of vegan dog treats. <laughs> Goes to show the power of plants, people. We got two different uh, flavors. We got the cinnamon butters and we got the, it's like a peppermint. I'm gonna give her one right now. She's in her kennel crying away. But anyway, I think they're like her, some of her favorite treats are these, so. Yeah, we got, um, we got them one time before at the Kitty Kick Fest. And it says, saving dogs one treat at a time. And I'll be sure to um, leave her link down below as well if you have a fur child in your life. Of course, we had to go by the booth for the Gentle Barn. Never been to the actual Gentle Barn, and they just got a location that's really near Nashville. We definitely want to go. I mean, they said they're open on Sundays um, from like 11 to 2 or 10 to 2. Yeah, 10 to 2. Public on Sundays. It's basically like a much, much better version of like going to